I'm willing to bet that more of you have estate jewelry in your lives than what you realize. Go to your jewelry box. Go to that, that drawer that we all have in our bedrooms, pull it open, and start looking through it for things that you picked up when you were 16 years old and you and your girlfriends were out on your first shopping trip. Or you received something from your grandmother when you turned 18. Or it was something that was always in your mom's jewelry box. And So yeah, we all have estate jewelry. Estate jewelry merely means it's older. It's previously owned. It's vintage. It's period. It doesn't necessarily say, hi, I come with a really huge price tag. So what I did today is I brought in a couple of my favorite things and I thought, you know what, I want to show people how I wear my pieces and how I make them play well with new jewelry and with other jewelry. So we're really fortunate right now, J.B. Hudson, that we picked up this wonderful line called Rene Escobar. So he makes this beautiful piece that's in sterling and 18 karat gold with diamond. And you look at the chain, you realize it's a gray silver chain, which makes it kind of fade away into the background and allow your piece to really pop. The other thing that he does is he understands as women, we like to change things up. So he's given us this lovely gift of this collar, which he does in several different styles. So we have this lovely collar left when I take off his beautiful enhancer. And it's just begging to have something put on it. Hmm. I like jewelry that says something about who I am and what my likes are and what my tastes are and where I've been. And so I thought, you know what? One of my favorite things is Victorian sentimental jewelry, as in this beautiful brooch that you see. It's made in London, about 1885-1890. These are charms from the 1960s that actually really open and close. They would have been worn on a woman's bracelet at that time, but I think they're lovely on a necklace. They're usually found in either 18 karat or 14 karat yellow gold with gemstones either being natural or glass. They open up, so little secret message. Again, those messages, we like to carry them. Lovely on a chain, just like these two put together. Hmm? Let's go from this one to this one, which is about 100 years earlier. This is Victorian. It's high carat gold, diamonds across the top. It too is a little pot with a little secret compartment. Now what you would put in there, it would be totally up to you but lovely hanging on a chain. And I just took these and had them put together. Lovely pieces. And the symbolism for me, and as you make your own stories, that was one half of my fa late father's cufflinks. This is an antique pocket watch key, made in London in silver. Beautiful garnet on both sides. At the time that it was made, it was highly functional. You used it every single day, you touched it. It what kept you basically on time because without this, you couldn't wind your pocket watch. Then I have a beautiful shield and medallion here that is also from London, and this dates to around about 1915. I've been asked many times about the piece that I have on. Where did I get it? Where can you find it? I have to kind of laugh. This is a Victorian vinaigrette. They would have stuffed cotton wool in there and scents like vinegar or cologne or something in there to keep up near their noses when they walk through areas of town that didn't have really great sewer systems. This is a lovely George Jensen squash blossom charm from the 1950s. And this is a James Avery tree of life from the 70s. It's a hippie medallion. It's telling you all about where acorns and trees and planting them well and deep and how they grow. I just saw them put them together and said, you know what? I like the message. It's about me. So bring your pieces in. We'll show you how to wear them on a Rene Escobar chain. You can look at the rest of his collection at the same time. And you'll walk out knowing that you're wearing jewelry that says a lot about who you are, what's important to you, and where you've been. And not about somebody who knows nothing about you thinks you should wear. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye.